Now, uh, before we continue with the show, last night we uh, started a feature where we invite the audience to ask questions. We are a new show, and they can ask me any question they want. And so we thought we'd continue that tonight. Yes. You, sir, you had a question. I have a question. Uh, when the laughter and the applause die down, <laughs> and you're left with nothing to drown out the howling hounds of your past, nothing to wrap around yourself, but the lies you've told so many times that even you start to believe them, where do you go? And what do you do? I don't know. Ah, it's a hard one to answer. No, no, it's a very, very chilling question. All right, my first guest has appeared in three Police Academy films, as well as his own Artur production, Shakes the Clown. And starting Friday, November 26, he will play the voice of Moxie the Wolf on the Cartoon Network. Please welcome Bobcat Goldthwait. I want you I to be happy. I'm really happy that another man feels that comfortable giving me flowers. Well, oh, man, oh, man, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? you I'm all right? living a dream, man. <laughs> I got, you know, on that, that scene, say, the thing would actually, they would keep talking, but the cord went all the way in. <laughs> that thing's broke, man. You ought to get your money back. Yeah, that, that hurt it a lot. You know, I saw you in the race. You did? Yeah, I was behind you, actually. <laughs> Oh. What's the matter? You'll be fine. What's the matter? What? I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Ah, take it easy. Thanks. Okay, I will. Hey, Robert Vaughn starts yapping, though, during my segment. I'll, I'll clean his clock. <laughs> I'll kick his ass right now. We'll try and settle him down. Okay. I like the hat. The hat's very nice. Thank you. This? Well, thank you very much. It's very nice. May I touch it? Yeah. And I gave you flowers. Do you, do you mean the hat? <laughs> oh, let's... Wow. Well, like I'm yourself. a Bob doing a penis joke, please. Hey, man, well. Did you see in the paper where it said that Michael Jackson, they're going to have him strip searched? Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. Wow. I hope it's thorough. I hope they get, like, a nice cardinal to do it. <laughs> ah, yes. What? Well, uh, man, you, you're trembling, brother. I'm a Catholic boy. I know. Well, O'Brien, really? Yeah, right. Well, tell your mother I said it, not you. Ah, okay, good. So Thank we didn't you. write Bobcat's ad libs, Mom. <laughs> if How I are was you? you, just start drinking right now. All right, I'll do that. It's the easiest way to get through this whole thing. Ah, serious to you. Mm. I live in Los Angeles. I'd like to say this. If you ever see me getting beaten by the police, put the video camera down and help me. <laughs> Or Bob Saget. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, it's nice of your show to give me this much gin. <laughs> well, we feel that's important. Yeah. Our guests feel. Get the guests liquored up. Oh, that's yeah. the only way you get Dick Cavett and Saran Wrap. <laughs> and Dick Gooden Bomb, because we're going to put him in Saran Wrap. How are you, Bobcat? How am I? I'm, I am. I am. I am willing to give you the best show I am contractually obligated to. <laughs> Thank you. The best I am willing I'm... to give you that scale plus 10 performance that I have in my soul. What is it like? Is it $325? $325. If I get any funnier than that, you just shut me up. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. If the we'll, phenomenon gets in the red. We'll let you know. Thank you. Now, you are opening for Nirvana right now. Am I correct? Um, no. I'm on your show. <laughs> I saw you there. Really? It only feels like I am. I did one show with him. But yeah, I'm actually going to do some more shows with him. You did? You're, you're opening for Nirvana. I go on up for Nirvana. It's, you know, whatever. We, <laughs> there's like, you know, 5,000 people moshing and stage diving. Good evening, where are you from? <laughs> Just a good comedy environment. Yeah, like I hear comics belly aching about tough crowds. Have you ever been hit with a teenager? <laughs> I'm throwing bodies at me. Where are you from? 
it's, yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun actually. <laughs> How about you? What have you been doing? Well, um, I've been, been buying taking flowers, flowers for the show. Buying flowers? <laughs> it's his job, pretty much. It was really sweet of you. I think Conan likes me. Oh man. I think you've got the wrong dressing room. Hi there. No, I've got the right one, my friend. Hey man, what do you mean by that? Hey, you can talk after the show. Just sit a little closer. That wasn't in the script, man. Uh, what are you implying about my sexuality, man? I'm not gay, man. I'm not gay. Well, I am not gay. That's okay. We'll be fine. We've had we've had actually a guest break the show, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll not. We'll separate. I am not, I am not gay, man. No, you're not. I know you're not. I'm you're not. fine. You're not at all. Please come back. Sit down. You'll be no, fine. Don't no, worry about no, that. I'm, so, yeah, you just tip that over. If I was gay, would I do that? No, he, he wouldn't. I am a man! <laughs> all right, we're going to uh, step away for a second, and we'll straighten out Bobcat Goldthwait's sexuality. Yes, it is. I think it's more of an issue with you. No, I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> yeah, you seem very comfortable. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Can I possibly get another cup of coffee? <laughs> no. No. You've got to deal with this. Actually, you know, there's a lot of gay bashing now. Gay bashing is guys going, I hate you because you're queer and you're gay and you're fag and you're queer and um, you're kind of attractive. And um, <laughs> See, I want to have sex with you, but I'm in the closet, so I'll just punch you and my trans am on the way home. <laughs> Trans Am dealers? <laughs> Actually, that half is, yes. That half is the trans... Who is your target audience, Conan? Mm -hmm. We're going after mostly Chevrolet and Ford. That's my people. <laughs> is that my coffee? Yes, you can off? have that. And I was in your shot. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Stay out of the money, okay? Sorry. <laughs> because when this broadcast, you know I'm going to be edited out. <laughs> it's going to be just a furry thing right yeah, here. Yeah, just be... We're going to leave the hat, actually. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. Enjoy so, that. You know, people say there's not enough violence on television. I know, there is not enough. I think well, you I got have to get backwards. Things. Yeah. People say, TV's too violent. I say, it's not violent enough. I'd like to see someone snap with an AK-7 on the cast of Blossom. <laughs> Next Janet Reno, did you see her crying on the floor of Congress reading a letter from an alleged eight-year-old going, she's reading this letter saying that, First of all, like an eight-year-old kid actually knows who Janet Reno is, and it's a Janet, please get rid of all the violence on TV. This kid wasn't complaining about cartoons. This kid saw the footage of her in Waco. Wow. <laughs> wow. A big Janet Reno. I'll go up there now with you, huh? I know. No, Daddy, no. No, no. talk to you. Just give me a hug, man. Come here. <laughs> Let's let the healing begin, man. You're all right. Look, man. I don't want you to get out of my... I want to ask you about something. Okay, go right ahead, man. If it's all right, I want to ask you about Shakes the Clown. Finest alcohol clown movie ever made. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, I made an alcohol clown movie. That was a good career move. <laughs> Couldn't get the Dahmer musical off the ground. <laughs> And all thinking, I'd, I don't have I'd have invested Did in that. Did you see Shakes? Yes, I saw it. Did you really? Well, I saw some of it. Well, no, I'm, I'm only liar. kidding. Yeah, I'm a liar. Yeah, well, you know, I gotta be honest. I couldn't see you sitting at home sparking up Shakes. <laughs> oh, good. A vomiting clown film. <laughs> Hurry, Mom. He's gonna make fun of the Catholic Church again. <laughs> now, this is a movie where it's about alcoholic clowns. Yes. Yeah. Well, not just. It's about an alcoholic clown, but it's also about a lot of disturbed clowns and their problems. Yeah. Now, you ran into some problems. I've never heard it treated this serious. Yes. Although, on the I, Today yes, Show, you did. I was on the Today Show with Katie Kirk. First of all, they would never have me on that show. 
I found that hard to believe, but whatever. So, <laughs> Katie Couric and a real clown. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. This real clown's like mad at me because, I don't know, I guess apparently clowns are a bunch of alcoholic rummies. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, Bobcat, clowns do a lot of good. And I go, nobody thinks you're funny. The only reason you perform in hospitals is because that's one place a kid can't get up and run away from you. <laughs> and then... And then the clown starts yelling at me. He drops his clown wacky persona. He's like, going, hey, man, that's low. <laughs> and, then, and then Katie Couric goes, would you please be serious, Mr. Goldthwaite? And I'm going, no. <laughs> You're interviewing me and a clown. <laughs> what, did you lose a bet? <laughs> did uh, clown sleep in? <laughs> well, I just had to know. Now, listen, but you understand there is a new segment on this show where we let people ask questions and... After your incredible performance here, I'm sure someone has a question for you. Yes, you, sir, a question for Bobcat Goldthwait. I have a question. Oh, no! <laughs> when they're all laughing, it's hard to hear, isn't it? It's hard to hear that voice. That one that says, you'll never be good enough. Is it your mother's voice? Man, is it Your father's? <laughs> or is it yours? It may be hard to hear now, but when the cameras stop flashing and the applause dies, that voice will be all you hear. And I promise you, my friend, it will be shrieking. <laughs> shrieking. Take it to heart, my friend. Don't take it too hard. All right, we'll be right back. Stick around.